Hey, Brian. So a quick yes, question sir. for you. Um, so when I go shoot, especially in competitions or really after a defensive encounter, I oftentimes don't remember seeing my sights. So many I'm so present in what I'm doing that I don't know what the dot's doing. I know I did it, but I don't remember it. Is that, and I had somebody argue this to me recently, that that's a sign of unconscious confidence. Is it that, or is it really not being present enough to where you can actually remember? It's a good question. I, I think it's two separate things. When we talk about unconscious competence, it's the ability to do task at a level where we don't recognize it. So the replay, uh, being able to call or see the dot afterwards is the opposite of that, where we actually go into, uh, you know, it's like doing a, a cognitive interview uh, where you close your eyes, you put yourself forward, and then you try to see the whole array of targets you just shot. And can you see something of red motion? And if it's a dot, were you able to do it? The other indicator is if you were in competition or in real life and you had to make up a shot, you knew you missed. So you're able to correct in a certain timely amount of time, which would be about 0.3 to 0.5, depending on the distance to it. But you made that decision inside of it. So yes, unconscious competence has a bit to do with it, but we should not be able to see the dot and it's it shouldn't be clear. We should see the target with red motion in it. And it was good enough as long as i can close my eyes and say i saw something good enough and i'm going to tell you i ask a lot of people what they saw and much like a very young child they smile at me like this hmm. <laughs> and they say nothing i didn't see anything and i think that's part of the problem we saw it in law enforcement that you know officer involved shootings did you see your front sight no but if we can take them back to the event cognitively with an interview and say all right what does it smell like what it feel like when you were truly present, what did you see? And they will be able to describe this. So I'd say that while you were very unconsciously competent, you need to try your visualization afterwards a little differently and put yourself as present to the feeling and the array of targets and just watch it as a tape instead of looking for something specific. See what your mind plays back. And if that's good enough, then you're fine. If it's not, you'll so know right away. So open it up. So open it up to the, the the vast majority of senses instead of just the visual plane, maybe to the olfactory, to to everything else, and then that replays it correctly. Okay, that's been a real curiosity to me, and that's a fantastic answer. Thank you for that. <laughs> You're welcome. Well, it's a different part of the brain that can replay these things. You know, that's where PTSD comes from, is that we store a traumatic event, and then we replay it in real time constantly. So there's no power over it. It, it constantly crushes us. Uh, but that, that cycle is also available for improvement, uh, that we can replay this. But uh, shooting is primarily vision, which is the primary sense, but the support sense is feel. And most of us don't feel anything while we're shooting, except for speed shooters, they feel it all. They don't see anything, you know? And then the idea of smell and sound allows us to be more present in it, you know? Uh, taste doesn't really work but you know sometimes i can taste the the horrible gunpowders that are being dug out of bunkers to shoot on ranges right now you know so it puts me present and it allows that part of the brain that's much better at recording this to play it 